Hello, welcome to a critical film review. This uh, project, the final project, is for English 112, which is uh, led by Mr. Reynolds. So everyone knows who Marvel is, or Marvel Comics. They have been a company since 1939, and they were founded as Timely Comics, and then they rebranded themselves as Marvel. They have created many superheroes such as Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, and they have been able to engage a lot of a lot of people. The Marvel Cinematic Universe that we all know and love today started off with the first Iron Man movie which released in 2008 featuring and starring Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark also known as Iron Man. Unbeknownst to us as the audience Marvel was planning an entire line of movies since that movie and it has always been hinted in the famous end or the post credit scenes uh, that we have always stayed in the movie theater to watch on every single Marvel movie. I'm reviewing Avengers Infinity War, which is one of the... It's a tearjerker. It's exciting. It's thrilling. It's also going to crush your heart if you haven't seen it yet. Avengers Infinity War was basically a massive, massive collaboration of many... Um, superheroes from across the MCU. The two leading directors is Anthony Russo and Joe Russo. Now they understand the scope and magnitude of this movie and what people expected and what people wanted. The Russo duo was able to capture what needed to be seen on screen. They made and set the tone of the movie instantly in the first 20 minutes. They eliminated an important character just like that and also solidify Thanos, which is the main antagonist of the film. He is a big issue. He is a, this, a disaster scenario for the entire universe in the MCU. It is brought to scope, it brought right in front of the audience how serious that the problem that Thanos is. Thanos is motivated by one simple thing. He has a very sad past. He is from a planet that no longer exists. He's the last of his species because he saw the problems of his species, the greed of his own species, and he took it under his own action to save his people by eliminating all of them. He sees the same problem across other planets in the universe. Now the title Infinity War is a pretty important title. It basically references, well, pretty important parts of the movie and also references the plot of the entire phase one two and three the infinity saga of the mcu the infinity gauntlet is a treasured piece of weaponry that thanos uses to well um accomplish his goals for the entire universe basically what he does is he gets the infinity gauntlet by you know doing his small amount of task and then throughout the entire 22 movies, or you know, hinted at the 22 movies, he um, gets the Infinity Gems. There are six of them in total in the entire scope of the universe. And throughout this MCU, he has been on a, a quest to find every single gem so he could put on his Infinity Gauntlet so he could, well, basically make his job a lot easier of eliminating populations. At the start of the movie, he has two of them. So the rest of the movie, he continues his quest. And that is not a major spoiler because his quest, he meets every single hero in Avenger that has been referenced or seen throughout the MCU, which is an awesome thing as an audience member to see because you get to see your favorite movie superheroes interact with other movie superheroes. It's an awesome feeling to see them work together. Now, if you look on the internet anywhere, everyone seems to love Infinity War. Of course, the major a critique with the movie is a lot does go on and it is hard to follow it it really is but I mean involving all those superheroes and everything it is quite understandable that the directors may have had a hard time trying to relay everything on screen the Russo duo was able to capture what the audience wanted but also they gave the audience what they didn't know they want and also made them cry about uh, equivalent of about six or seven times throughout the entire movie. In conclusion of this film review, is this movie good? Yes. If you're a Marvel fan, you're gonna enjoy it. You may cry a lot, but 
you know, it's worth it. Even if you're not a Marvel fan, and you've only seen a few movies, it is still a movie to watch. It is very, very appealing to the eye when it comes to visuals, and everything was done right. There's a lot of action, but there's also a lot of complex lore hints and all this other stuff that it makes you want to go watch the other movies to find out where these characters came from and where and why are they there at that point in time in the movie. Did the audience get what they wanted? Oh yes, and they got a lot more than they even bargained for. The Russo brothers did do a lot for the audience, you know, by giving them a smile on their face or a simple tear in the eye. They did a lot, and I'm actually quite, quite impressed by what they did. Overall, this is a great movie to watch, and it is a great movie to kind of end the saga. Of course, this isn't an ending movie. Like I said, this is just directly going into the next movie, which is Avengers Endgame. This is a very interesting movie, and I hope this film review did a good job of kind of giving an idea of what you can expect if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War. Like I said, it is a tearjerker. There is a lot going on. It's one of the major criticisms, but if you pay attention and you follow what's going on, you will be able to feel the emotion that I did when I watch it. You'll be able to feel the tone that the Russo duo was able to establish so early on. And once again, there's many plots going on, but the plots are easily be followable and they describe every character possible. Once again, the directors did a great job of doing exactly that. Making you feel like you're a part of the story, making you feel like you are intertwined in some shape or form, and also makes you question, question everything about life and just how how attached you can get to a character <laughs> but anyway hope you did enjoy this um i hope it did a good job um i did a little bit of research obviously to make this review this interesting so yeah hope you do enjoy this like i said and have a great day